Hello all lovely people out there, this is Kevin from CZ Pipe here where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives and in this video we'll be taking a look at liquid and alternate layouts in InDesign which can be useful and save you some time when designing for multiple formats. And liquid layout is basically scaling your document and having the content adapt to the changes. And alternate layout is creating another version of the same design and you can utilize liquid layout when doing so. But this will be a lot clearer when showing it, so let's jump straight into InDesign. To access the liquid layout settings, we can either choose the page tool over here, the shortcut is Shift plus P, or you can also have it as a panel under Window and then Interactive and Liquid Layout. And when having the page tool active, you can see a couple of things happening. We get these settings up here, and you can also see the handles on the edge of our page. And up here we can resize the page numerically and change the orientation and so forth. But most importantly here it says liquid page rules. And these rules decide what happens to the objects when you scale the page. And right now it's set to off so it won't do anything. And I mentioned these handles. If you drag them you can preview the scaling. To actually scale the page you just hold alt and drag. Now let's try and activate some liquid rules. And uh, first we have scale. Now if we drag the corners we see that the content is scaling along with the page. And once more if we want to commit a change we hold alt and drag. Like this. Next up we have recenter and uh, does exactly that. When we scale it recenters the content according to the new page size. And perhaps not as useful but it is an option. Next up guide-based rules. We'll get to object-based in a moment, but both these options will give you a little bit more control. And with the page tool active, drag out a guide. Now notice the dashed line. This is a liquid guide, and as far as I understand it, I think, the objects intersecting with the guide are allowed to scale. So you see the text box is scaling, but not the image box. And if we want to scale vertically, we need to add a horizontal guide as well, like this. And now you can see the box is scaling in this direction as well. Lastly, we have object-based, which I think is the most useful one, along with scale. And when selecting object-based under rules here, you can see we get these circles around the boxes that we can click on. And the grayed out object constraints in the panel also light up right here. And the outer ones pin the object to the edge. So if we pin the text box on the left side and then scale, we'll see it stays pinned to that side. And the inner ones lock the height or width of that object. And if we lock the height, you can see that it doesn't scale the text box vertically. And you can set this up for all objects on the page uh, or use groups and apply it to that. So let's say we want to output this web banner into several sizes. The background we want to stretch to fill the page and therefore we pin all the edges and uh, then we make sure the height and width are lock aren't locked. Sorry. And the text box we might want to be aligned to the left. So we pin the left edge and I think we can let the height and width scale. Lastly, the logo. We probably want it aligned to the right edge, so I'll pin it there. But for the logo, maybe we want the frame to retain its proportions. Then we can lock the height and width, like so. And then we can preview the scaling and make sure it does what we want. Now, obviously, we could resize manually or with the numerical values up here. But another option is to make an alternate layout using these liquid page rules. And to do that, in the Pages panel, simply right-click the page and select Create Alternate Layout. And here we get to choose our new format. Let's imagine we're making multiple web banners, so this new one might be a bit larger, say 1600 by 600 or something. And uh, next, importantly, we choose our Liquid Page rule. And since we set them up already on the Source page, we choose to preserve existing. We have a few options down here. We can link stories and this will create a link to a copy of the source text. And to learn more about that, you can check out this video on screen. But if you want to have separate styles for the new size, you can check this one. And this will create copies of the text styles in a new folder and apply them. 
But for this to work, however, we need to make sure we name it differently. So let's name it by the size, 1600 by 600. And uh, lastly, you can choose to have the text reflow to new pages if there is overset text. Also video on screen, by the way. But I don't think that's very relevant here, so we'll leave that off. And then we can just press OK. As you can see, we have two columns now, but looking at the pages, we see that it's really just added a new page, but the stories are linked to the original one, which you can see in the links panel, by the way, over here. And if we go and change something in the original text box, then we should see a warning in the links panel, and then we can update the link. Let's make uh, one more alternate layout. So right click the page, and uh, alternate layout. And this time we could make a smaller one, maybe 800 by 300, and then OK. But as you can see, it didn't work as well this time since we locked the size of the logo and it no longer really fits. So let's undo that and try it again. So once again, 800 by 300, but this time maybe just use scale. And uh, now it looks better and we can easily just extend the background manually. And then two last tips. If you click on the alternate layout names here, you can rename them. And uh, also if you remove the alternate layout and wonder why it still shows the name up here, simply right click the panel and choose view pages and then vertically and it should be back to normal. Okay, that was all I had for this video. Hope you'll find it helpful and if not, at least interesting. And that said, thank you for watching and see you in the next video right here on CCPipe.